Ryan with Goodwin Racing here and let's talk about lug nuts. Um, we get questions about lug nuts all the time. Do I need lug nuts with my aftermarket wheels? Which lug nuts should I get? So we're just going to try to cover everything uh, pretty quick here and just give you the rundown on all the different options. First of all, do you need them? If you've got aftermarket wheels, most wheels, uh, a lot of the Koenigs that we sell, Advantes, the Enkis, um, most aftermarket wheels are going to have a slightly smaller uh, hole for the lug nut to go into than the factory wheels. And you get that especially as you go wider with wheels because that hole has to be deeper. Um, so what you will find is that a factory lug nut that usually takes a 21 millimeter socket is just that socket size is not gonna fit into that hole easily. Or if it does, you're gonna end up risking scratching the inside barrel of that hole very easily. So all of the lug nuts that we sell are 19 millimeter or smaller. Uh, and that's referring to the size of the socket that fits on the lug nut. It's gonna be take a 19 millimeter socket or in the case of these steel lug nuts, a 17 actually. Um, you may not have a lug nut that takes a 21 millimeter socket. Check on your car, especially with the older generations of cars. Most of us aren't the, uh, the first owner of the car, you know, we're the second or third owner. So you don't even know if you have factory lug nuts anymore. Somebody else, you know, prior owner could have gone and put uh, a different lug nut on the car and you don't even realize it. So check if it takes a 19 millimeter socket, you're probably going to be okay. But if it takes a 21, you're going to need an aftermarket set of lug nuts. And there's also some other good reasons to consider doing uh, aftermarket lug nuts. I mean, first of all, they just look cooler, right? Um, but uh, let's, let's go over things. These here are the, actually all of these are the Roadster Sport uh, brand lug nuts. We've got them in a closed end design as well as an open design and kind of hold that up closer there. The open back style is really intended so that if you have an extended stud, the stud can stick all the way through and stick out the backside. Um, that said, the open back race style lug nut works perfectly fine with your standard studs. You don't have to have extended studs for these to work. Sometimes we'll have people get a set of these, put them on the, the car, and then they'll look down in the hole and go, oh, the stud's not sticking through. These aren't going to work. Well, there's no reason that these are going to work any less better or any less than a standard uh, lug nut with a closed back design. The stud is sticking into there and you have the same amount of thread engagement with either one of these lug nuts. It's just that these can accommodate for an extended uh, stud, whereas the closed design cannot. But, uh, you know, some people prefer one look or another. The open-ended is more of the racer style and the closed style is a little bit more of your street look. It's a little cleaner, doesn't have an open back on it. So we have both of those uh, styles. The closed style we also have in a silver finish. Um, racers are always just going to want black lug nuts, so the open-ended is only available in black. Um, we didn't do a silver color for the Roadster Sport uh, open-ended lug nuts. Um, you'll notice that there aren't a million different colors here. I mean, honestly, the black is the popular choice. Uh, black goes with every color of wheel. Um, you don't really want to try to match your lug nuts to your wheel color, generally speaking, because the lug nut manufacturer is not going to be the same as the wheel manufacturer. So there, even if you get gray and gray, that's going to be two different versions and shades of that gray. So your odds of it actually matching are pretty slim. Um, we recommend just going with black lug nuts. Unless you have a silver wheel and you really want the silver matching, uh, you can do silver. Now, moving away from the Roadster Sport lug nuts, oh, and I should say these are all uh, Forge 7075 aluminum, super strong, super lightweight. Uh, we sell hundreds and hundreds, thousands of these and they serve everybody really well. We have a more affordable option. This is a just steel lug nut, acorn style. This actually takes a 17 millimeter socket. So if you have a really, really uh, tight lug hole in your wheel, your particular wheel, maybe you actually want to get this because it takes a 17 millimeter socket. Um, it's an open end, so it's going to work with extended studs. And this is just your basic, uh, you know, standard lug nut. It's just a good quality steel uh, lug. Now, I will say about these, uh, Personally, I prefer aluminum lug nuts and I'm a racer and you know, actually the reason that I like that though, or like the aluminum lugs is not 
for the weight, although that is nice. The reason and the, the difference is that, and most people don't think about this, but as racers, we're taking uh, the lug nuts on and off the car frequently. We're changing wheels all the time. And so if you, and it happens to the best of us, if you throw a lug nut on and you put the gun on it and you zap it down, and you don't realize that you cross-threaded it just a little bit on the start, with a steel lug nut, you are going to damage the steel uh, stud just as much as you're gonna damage the lug nut. With an aluminum lug nut, you are going to strip that lug nut out, but your stud is gonna be perfectly fine because it's steel and the lug nut is aluminum. So you're gonna put the gun on there, switch it to reverse, zap this thing back off, and you're gonna grab another one from your spares box, and you're gonna put that on, and you're good to go in you know, a matter of seconds. Whereas with the steel one, you've probably damaged your stud badly enough that you now need to press the stud out of the hub, swap that stud, uh, and then also change out the lug nut. Now there's nothing wrong with steel lug nuts. They're a good affordable option and we run them on a lot of cars, but that is why I personally as a racer really like the aluminum uh, lugs. And some people have this aversion, sort of the old school mentality of, you know, aluminum is weak and, and it's not a good material and, and it's fragile and everything. It's really not the case. This is a super common uh, material in, in the racing world. And if it can stand up to racing abuse, it's gonna do just fine on your street car as well. Um, so that having been said, you do have the steel lug nut option. Um, and those are something like maybe 20 bucks cheaper for a set of like 16 than the aluminum uh, lug nuts. So they are your, your budget option as well. Now the last style of lug nut here is very cool. This is a Megard lug nut. And this is a spline drive style uh, lug nut. And so what that means is instead of having a, a standard hex on here that takes a socket like any of these others, uh, the Megards take a special tool, and when you get a set of Megard lug nuts, uh, that set will come with a tool, and if you lose a tool or something, we also sell spares on our site. But the tool has a set of splines on the inside that match up to the splines on the lug nut. And then on the back of the tool is a, uh, a hex for a standard socket. So you put a socket onto there and then that's how you tighten and loosen the lug nuts. Um, but the reason for that, well, first of all, this is nice and thin. So this slips into, uh, you know, down into the lug hole and this gives you a really nice uh, chance of not damaging your wheel, which is great. But also the fact that this takes uh, the spline tool is an added layer of security. Um, you know, if you're concerned about somebody else walking by your car and deciding that they like your wheels more than you do and they want to have them instead, um, you know, your, your odds of somebody having a standard socket, a uh, hex socket in their back pocket is much higher uh, than the chances of them having a Megard spline tool in their back pocket. The odds of that are pretty slim. And so, this uh, this is an added layer of security. Now this is not technically a locking lug nut the way that actual locking lugs uh, work and frankly we don't really like locking lug nuts um, but just the fact that this doesn't take a, a, a standard socket um, and you know so somebody walking by can't just take your wheels off uh, that is a really nice feature. Now there's another really cool feature about the Megard lug nuts and that is uh, if you can see it here, that the front conical portion that mates to the wheel and contacts the actual inside of the wheel lug hole, this spins independently of the backside of the uh, of the lug nut. And so this is the only lug nut that does this. The reason that it does that is that um, as you're tightening this down, once it seats against the wheel, the front does not spin anymore. It seats against the wheel and then stays stationary. And as you finish tightening that lug nut down, it is not spinning against the, uh, the wheel and damaging the finish of the wheel. Now, that's not really a problem. With any of these other lug nuts, that is going to happen to a certain extent. But then, of course, you can't see the finish on the wheel underneath where the lug nut is covering. But for those who really want to keep their wheels in pristine condition, uh, the, the Megard lug nuts allow you to do that. They will not scrape up that finish. Uh, they're going to a little bit, but they're not going to wear the finish off uh, nearly as quickly as a standard uh, lug nut is going to do. So that's another really cool feature of the Megards. Now the Megard lug nuts come in uh, both black standard gloss black uh, and they also come in this 
a silver finish, but do note that the silver finish um, is a little more chrome than, for example, some other silvers. You might be able to see that in a comparison there. Um, so if you've got silver wheels, these still look great with silver wheels, but just keep in mind, it's not going to be a match to the silver. It is a little bit more chrome, uh, I would call it, than a, than a silver. Um, and for the McGuards, the black actually cost a good bit more than the silver. Um, check our website for the latest pricing, but for the other lug nuts, the Roadster Sport, the silver and black are the same price. That's not up to us, that's just McGuard charges more for the black finish. Uh, so that must mean that there's a little more production uh, costs that go into that. Um, when you're looking on our website at lug nuts, the really nice uh, thing that makes things really easy is that um, Every lug nut we list on our website works with every wheel that we sell. Um, that takes a lot of the guesswork out. You know, if you're shopping all over the place, you've got to try to make sure you've got the right thread pitch and you've got the right uh, cone angle and, and all these, you know, you're looking at the specs and trying to make sure that the lug nut you've got is going to work with your wheel and, you know, all of that. You don't have to worry about that if you're on our website. Every lug nut listed on our site works with every wheel we sell. So if you've got a set of wheels from us and you're looking for a lug nut that works on it, as long as you're on GoodwinRacing.com, you're looking at lug nuts that are going to work for you. Um, aside from that, if you've got any other further questions, you can always go on our website, check the product pages for these. Uh, we've got all the specs on there. Uh, you can also go to the Contact Us uh, page and fill out the form there. You can email us or call, uh, call us if you've got any questions, and we'll be happy to, to walk you through it and find the right ones for you. And other than that, have a wonderful day.